used to be when I was like, I don't know, 18, 19, I wouldn't even need caffeine. And then I went to college, I discovered coffee, and then I started doing YouTube full time and filming all day, basically from 6 a.m. to 3 a.m., just working my wiener off. And uh, that's when I discovered energy drinks. It's a terrible habit, but we're trying out something new. Celsius is usually my go-to. We're drinking some sparkling cucumber lime caffeine today. It's enough to make a giraffe jittery. Good morning, wieners. Welcome back to Denver 2 here in East Texas. Actually, or should I say, welcome back to Denver 2 in Antarctica. Everything's frozen. Literally everything is frozen, and all I can say is I really know how to plan a fishing trip. Usually, East Texas is warm, and that's one of the reasons why people come out here is because it's nice, it's warm, it's humid, it's lovely, but, you know, as soon as John B. sets foot on East Texas territory, it turns into snowmageddon. Like, what the hell's going on? But this morning should be good with the cold temps. I tend to like fishing when the temperature drops, so I have confidence. I don't know if it's actually gonna pan out, but I've got confidence. I'm very reluctant to leave the lake that we fished yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, check the link down below. It's, it's a good one. I catch my biggest crappie ever. I'll just leave it at that. It's freaking huge. We catch some big bass too, but I think we're gonna go about 20 minutes south to a little tiny lake that I literally have never heard anyone talk about, but I, I think it's a little hidden gem. So I'm gonna keep the name private uh, just in case this is your favorite place to fish, but I think it should be good. It's about a 200 something acre lake. It's totally public and uh, I wanna just try it out. We've got zero mile per hour winds today, very cold but hopefully very fishy. Let's get today's video kicked off. It's good to have you guys here. Stick with, stay tuned, and let's go crush them. See you later. I can't leave unless you pull my finger. Pull it. Ew. You pulled my fingers. See you guys, I love you. <laughs> No, he just pulled up. That was a big one. Oh, that was a giant. That was like a big, big fish. God, he just pulled hooks. That was my first true bite of the day. I could dump them. It was a giant fish. That was a giant, like a giant fish. Like not a little one at all. God. That could have definitely been a DD, no doubt. I thought it was a freaking carp. It was so big. Just put it in perspective. I thought it was a carp. I don't know how I lost that fish, man. But I did. Like an absolute idiot. Got him. That's a nice one. That's a good one. Finally, we got one, baby. Not a bad one. We'll take him. Oh, wow. That's a healthy fish. Probably about a three pounder. Not like the, the fish I lost on my screen was probably three times this size. And this is a quality one. First fish of the day, we'll take them. Still doing that little swim jig pattern. They seem to like it. It just looks like a little shad, you know? Oh my God, that's a big one. I'm gonna give you a quick look and then send them back. There's another bigger one down there. That's a really big one right there. Where did you go, old girl? There was a really, I just saw a big one. Oh wow, look at the size of that one. That thing is huge. That thing is freaking huge. Right on his head. That's a really big one. That's a giant. That's like a giant, giant. Whew. Sorry, I, want, I wish I could take more time with that fish, but I just saw one that's like Goliath size over here. Like that that one I just marked was a Goliath. One old girl, find this jerk bait. Going right in front of his face. He's all over it. Come on. He's, oh, he's looking at it. It's a big one. It's a big one. Come on, crush it. She's all over me. She's all over me. Crush it. Crush it. Crush it. Crush it. No, it's a big one. It's a big one. She's right on me. She can't stop looking at me. Look at the size of that fish. Holy hell, that is a giant bass. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why would she not eat though? That right there is the biggest fish of the trip. I dumped her once, had her hooked. She came back and followed it all the way in. 
that was crazy big fish for sure i'm gonna start recording my screen so you guys can see what i'm seeing it's crazy today i've literally seen like no bait it's very weird whereas yesterday where i was fishing there was like almost too much bait like it was it was pretty hard to just find a spot where there was no shad which is pretty insane that's a nice one right there let's see if i can get him to eat what are you doing down there elroy Oh, I just had him. He just ate the juice. Oh my God, I just had him. I just had him. I don't know how I didn't freaking sting him though. He's going after it again. Eat it again, eat it again. Oh my God, it's another big one. It's another big one. It's another big one. Oh my God, no. I just dumped, I just had missed the opportunity catching two giant fish. Oh my God. What an absolute idiot. That one actually freaking ate it too. He didn't want the jerk bait, but he wanted the swim jig. No, I'm able to find the bigs, but I just can't freaking hook them, dude. Oh, he was sitting right on top of that brush pile. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Got her, got her. Beg it, beg it. On the swim jig, baby. On the swim jig, baby. That's a nice one. That's the one we want. Look at the size of that fish. <sighs> that is why you fish East Texas, baby. We finally got one of these giant bass to eat. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Check this out, too. This is pretty crazy. Just to give you an idea as to how, um, how low in the water column these fish are, are sitting in, that on its belly is mud. That is a really nice fish. Oh, let's go, dude. Probably close to, I mean, that's definitely over six. We're gonna put them in the box for a little bit. Oh, there's some more down there. I'm gonna put them back in the well and uh, we're gonna keep fishing. Dude, that is a stud. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Bluegill getting chased right there. Did you guys see that? That was a big gizzard shatter of bluegill getting chased. Holy sh It's going down in the DMs, boys. Right, I'm pushing in here for a little bit, old girl. You'll be all right. I'm gonna get your sister. There's another big one down there with her. Yes, sir. Dude, that bluegill was getting chased by the other one that was right behind the fish I caught. I actually got the what looked like the bigger one of the of the two, which is rare. Usually <laughs> I get the dink. Finally got one of the big ones. That fish wasn't as big as the ones I was marking, but that's I mean that's the one we want. That's that's a quality bass, no doubt. Let's keep grinding. Take a look at that bass, Bubba. Look at that fish. Beauty. Probably my biggest fish of the trip so far. Let's get a weight on him real quick. Quality bass. Six, it's holding at 599, refuses to go over six. Get a measurement on her and send her back. Damn near a six pounder on the swim jig. Almost a 20 inch fish or well over 20 inches. It's uh, 20 and a quarter, beautiful bass. We're gonna try to submit this guy later, but in theory, this is technically the lake record if it's submitted. There's definitely bigger fish that have been caught out of here, but just, uh, just for fun. Quality bass though what East Texas is all about. Boom. I'm gonna send you back, old girl. Thank you for biting. I know a lot of your friends down there are not as generous as you, but you were, and I appreciate that. Let's go. Just getting them on the old Josh Jones swim jig with no weed guard and no trailer. Man, just when you think you know everything about fishing, it's just that happens. Keep cranking. I want a whole bag today. I want to break a 30 pound bag. I know that says a lot saying we just caught, literally just, just now caught a fish. It's over five, but I think uh, I think we can do it. I'm seeing I'm seeing a 30 pound bag on my graph for sure. I just need to get them to open up. Let's get some more of that, please. Hopefully you guys were able to see that fish on the graph. I, I know it's kind of boring to watch someone stare at the graph, but what is fun is teaching y'all how I'm doing it. And once things warm up too, I don't even want to look at my forward face and all I want to do is just fish shallow because really these fish that are out here in 10 to nine feet, they're going to be up in the creeks. They're going to be up on the bank, under docks, sunning on rock. You know, there's probably a percentage of fish that is actually up there already right now. But with these cold fronts that just keep barraging Texas, I, I think it's going to keep oh, the vast majority of those fish where I'm at right now in, the, in the, a little bit deeper water. So, you know, it's just something to consider. But hopefully you guys got to see that catch. That was, that was cool to watch a fish in real time eat a lure. Like, you don't get to see that too much unless you're bed fishing or you know you're sight casting super clean water which we are not this is some dirty stuff today we're fishing oh, that's a big one.
and he sees it. Oh, he clocked it. Still on me. God! That was a big one. I got hung up too, so that's the cast. Um, hopefully you guys got a chance to see that. That was a fish that was following my bait for probably a good, I don't know, 40, 50 yards. That was, that was incredible. That was really intense. Not only was it a fish, but it was a giant, a giant bass. God, he's still under the boat too. He's like, where'd my jerk bait go? Well, buddy, you didn't eat it, so I, I got snagged, unfortunately. Oh, it was a giant fish. Fudge. At least they're still in showing interest. The worst is when you get over a fish and you start working them and they don't show it any interest. That's not good. But if I'm getting follows like that, I'm going to remain optimistic. I just wish they would eat. I've hooked one on the jerk bait so far and it was a big one. It was like about that size. Just hanging at the tops of the trees, being a freaking idiot. Oh, jeez. Got him. Giant. That was insane, dude. You all saw that, right? That was actually insane. We'll take him. We'll take him. That was insane. It's barely hooked. It's barely hooked. <laughs> Another six pounder, probably close to at least. That was crazy, dude. I literally dropped my, so I pulled those fish. Oh, look, they got eggs in them. Check that out. That little gold thing right below the butthole. That's an egg, man. I pulled those fish off with my jerk bait. There's like three others down there. Yeah, I just like literally dropped my swim jig right where they were, and he just freaking ate it. That was so stupid. Let's get a weight, man. That is a 5.13 pound bass. Gorgeous fish. Another one there on that pre spawn. Look at that belly. That's full of eggs. Full of eggs and probably bluegill and shad. Wow, that was so stupid. Thanks for playing, old girl. Ooh, she waved goodbye. That's awesome, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully y'all got a chance to see that on live scope too. I mean, the fish was right under the boat, like literally right under the boat and he fell for that. There's a couple more. Those are the other ones, I think. There's like two more down there that are about his size. Literally dead sticking a freaking swim jig. How stupid is that? It was like ice fishing, literally. Like I just slowly brought it up as if I was marking one in an ice hole. And uh, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. Didn't want the jerk bait but I'll definitely eat that. It's crazy stuff, dude, it's crazy stuff. What's going on, man? Y'all catching any? One. Going to what? Oh, dude, I didn't even recognize you, I'm sorry, bro. You had your glasses on. <laughs> I'm, that's, oh yeah, you said you were gonna be out here, man. You fish here much, this lake? I saw some. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Do you have to rebuild it, or? I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Is that just not working right now? No, this is my. Oh, it's your boat. Oh, yeah, nice. No, I'm actually breaking in my lower unit. I got. That's what I'm doing at the moment. Nice, nice. I'm probably just gonna fucking waste some time out here for a little bit, trying to fish like a new lake every day. I'm staying on. I've just got a little Airbnb with the family, but I, uh, I was like, huh, I've never even heard of this lake, so I just tried it and. Yeah, it's cool. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of tiny lakes like this out here. I know. They all got 10 pounders in them. All of them. Yeah, this one has big ones. It does. Uh, third stories and they, they are in here. I moved, I marked like six fish and I think all of them were over nine for sure. And I caught two fives and other than that, a lot of fish at the boat and they just sit there. But yep. yeah, no, that's cool. Where y'all heading after this? That's what everybody had. You been fishing DFW at all much or? No. Yeah. Well, why would you? I mean, fishing out here is ridiculous. Yeah. That's I'm cool. I'm going to graduate uh, coming up in May. Nice, I'm, man. I'm staying out here. Yeah, I don't see, I don't, it's beautiful out here, man. It's fucking nice. I've been spending a lot of time in West Texas and 
It's depressing out there, man. Yeah, this is nuts where I'm what, from. Windy. Yeah, are you really? What yeah, part? I'm from Amarillo. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's, it's even worse. It's oh, like, my it's God. It's terrible. I'm so glad to be you, you not come, there. Yeah, you come down here and it's like winding roads, actually trees. It's land out here. You should, man. I, I saw a bunch of lots for sale. I'm like, I wonder how much it is. I bet it's gone up naturally, but yeah, you guys go crank him, though. It was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, good seeing y'all. Good seeing you, man. Yeah. Crappie. Wow, big crappie. Damn. Look at the size of this crappie. That's a big black crappie, dude. I've been on the freaking crappie grind. Yesterday, big white crappie. Today, big black crappie. That's a big one. Crazy thing, too, is I don't know if there's a black crappie record out here, but if there isn't, I'm going to weigh them just because. This thing's definitely over a pound. It's a good fish. Black crappie tend to get a little bit smaller than the white crappie, but they can still bulk up. You know, they can still eat shad and all that. Well, 1.6 pounds. That is a huge white crappie. I'm doing a little bit of deep dam fishing right now, see if I can find some some schoolies. And this black crappie came out of nowhere. See you later, Bob. Thanks for biting. It hit it really hard, but I was like, why is it not pulling? <laughs> it's just because it was a freaking slab yappy. All right, wieners, it's power hour. 2.30 p.m. Got about two hours left to fish. I'm gonna make it home in time to spend some quality moments with the family. But I got two hours to fish. I've pretty much located a lot of these big bass. As you guys have been watching on the screen, while I've been casting over these fish's heads, they're giant. Even if you're not really familiar with forward-facing sonar and gauging how big the fish are, you can kind of put two and two together. You guys saw the five-pounder eat, and then you probably saw some of the bigger fish that I had the opportunity to catch. I'm thinking, as much as I want to throw what I've been getting follows on, I'm going to switch things up, go super finesse. This is a small lake, and there was quite a few boats out here today. So my thinking is this is a place that probably gets hammered. They probably see a lot of the same thing over and over again. Not that this is necessarily unique. I think this is a really good way to get pressured fish, and that is by throwing a little 3.3 inch size saucy swimmer. Obviously the big bait in here um, seems to be threadfin shad. And with that, I'm gonna try to really slow things down and see if we can mop up on some of these big fish that we lost, uh, you know, the chance to catch early this morning. Evening bite can be just as good, if not better. So fingers crossed, let's crank. <sighs> Didn't see very many fish in this general area, but the ones I saw were all huge, freaking huge. Let's see if we can't get some on the Guggen Saucy Swimmer, the 3.3 inch Saucy Swimmer. I'm gonna remain optimistic here. Some big fish lurking for a jerk in over here. Someone's looking at it. He's looking at it. Oh, I, f I f had him. It's a big one, too. No, I had him. He just barely nipped it, though. My gosh, it was not a good eat at all. Just barely nipped it. He sees it. He sees it. He sees it. Got him, got him, big one. Buzzer beater bass, baby. I don't know how big it is, but I think it's decent. It's coming in like a wet sock. Come here, bud. Not a giant, but it will take it, man. Buzzer beater bass. It's actually a pretty good one, man. It's not that small. I thought he was giant, giant when I saw him. I thought he was like an eight pounder. He's probably close to four. We'll take him though. Buzzer beater bass. Let's go, dude. And then on a high note, and then on a high note. Barely hooked, too. Barely hooked. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, dude. It's been a grind. I'm not uh, I'm not super acquainted with East Texas, so I'm learning how to fish these waters. And it is definitely different than back home. But one thing I will say is um, these bass are all fat. Nice, healthy, probably close to freaking four pounder. It's 4 p.m. It's going to be the last bite of the day. We only caught three fish today, but they were all really good. And we probably saw... 10 more that were all very nice as well. So we're we're working our way up slowly but surely. Got two more days here. I'm gonna make the most of it. That is an amazing way to end the day. Woo! Let's go! Time to put your back, old girl. Thanks for playing. See you later. How's your hamburger? She's like, it's decent. <laughs>
How's your hamburger? It's alright. That's quite the meal. What are we eating today? We got a tomato. We got a Hawaiian roll. And some hamburger. We haven't figured out how to chew our mouth closed yet. But that's okay. We're on family. And we got our what? Our Mickey Mouse cup? Mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse cup. Even though Minnie Mouse is our favorite. Mm-hmm.